I'm a Celebrity Campmate uh, and MasterChef star. Uh, throughout her career, gold medal athlete Kadena Cox has said she's never let her disability define her or stopped her from striving for success. However, Kadena, who was diagnosed with MS after suffering a stroke, admits she often struggles with what is classed by many as an invisible disability because it can't always be seen and so she wants to educate others on her experience. And she joins us now, Kadeen. It's really good to see you this morning. And it is important, isn't it? We see signs everywhere saying, you know, not all disabilities are visible, but that doesn't stop people behaving differently. If, if, if they think you were doing something and you don't have a disability, it must be very difficult. Yeah, no, I, I keep saying that my example is always, um, you know, if I ask for a priority seat on the train or if, you know, I, I get out of my um, car in a, in a blue bike spot, um, I, I, you know, I get looked, but I also get people like challenging it. You know, I've had people say to me, um, oh, you, you can't park there. It's for disabled people. And I'm like, how do you know I'm not disabled? Like I've, I've had people challenge me on that before I've even got out of my car and I'm like, I could be missing legs. You have no idea. Um, so it, it is. It is very hard. But I, you know, I'm not the only person that experiences. You know, seventy one percent of people um, actually experience it. Research by Beeper and Scopers um, kind of showcase that, which is yeah. It's 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 hard to see that number, but it's also really understandable because I know so many people. Um, me and a lot of my teammates experience it. What do you do in that scenario when someone comes and questions you? Do you take the time to explain it or do you just dismiss it? Because obviously that must, you know, that must be upsetting in itself. How do you handle that? Yeah, I mean, it depends on how it's been said um, and it depends on whether I'm having a really tired day or not. Um, but I'd say the majority of the time I actually try to use it as an opportunity to educate um, because a lot of the kind of challenges and comments you get is out of um, people not understanding um, and kind of sometimes it is ignorance. Um, but I think if I take the, op the, the opportunity to be able to kind of explain to people, um, then, you know, the next time they might not be so, um, I guess, outspoken, like, and, you know, feeling it's okay to make those comments to people. Um, I do it on my TikTok platform quite often. Um, you will probably see me dancing um i'll probably start i like starting in my wheelchair and then you know getting up and dancing which people are always find them re as really bizarre but i'm like you've just challenged me and said that i'm not disabled because you've seen me in a wheelchair um i'm now going to show you that i can actually do both um and then i'll show videos of me actually walking when i really need my wheelchair um and then people are like oh my god she's actually disabled and like i shouldn't have to show that yeah. for you to believe that i'm disabled um but that again is just an opportunity for me to educate on the the variations um within disabilities and the fact we're all different are you not tempted to just ha you know have your medal on and just say i'm a gold medal gold medalist paralympian and just wave it in their face that's what i'd be tempted to do <laughs> i'm a little bit heavy i'll be honest <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's interesting, I mean, you talk about using your TikTok platform, but we also see, don't we, I mean, you've been on lots of shows which has raised awareness. We've got Ellie Simmons on uh, Strictly at the moment. I mean, these platforms are wonderful as a way of educating people about the visible and the invisible disabilities that people are overcoming on a daily basis. Yeah, no, it's great. Like, I, I did, um, I'm a celeb and, and master chef, and, and large reasons for why I did them was because of, um, you know, wanting to showcase, um, you know, my disability. I think it's great that Ellie is on, um, you know, Strictly, because it is then sh showcasing, um, again, that disability. Um, Ellie, Ellie's great. Um, I think part of the, the problem, though, um, is, you know, for Ellie, um, she has a visible di disability, um, so people understand that a lot better. So they see Ellie and they're like, okay, she has a disability. And it's great that we're able to showcase that, you know, when we're able to be integrated into TV shows like that. Um, but I think it's when they, they see someone um, like me, for instance, you know, that doesn't have a, a constant visible disability, then people are like, well, she's not even disabled. Like I, I literally get weekly tweets about the fact that I don't have a disability. It, it must be very, very frustrating and very hard work to always take, um, not just for you, but for with other people with, a, with an invisible disability, um, to always have to take the high ground and not actually just get angry. 
Yeah, it's hard, and I think um, I'm. I mean, I, I'm quite a chilled person, so I take things in my stride and I will laugh about it. And I mean, may, mainly it's probably my, my faith and the fact that I'm Christian, so I am quite calm a lot of the time. Um, but I think it is hard, like because sometimes you do get angry because I didn't ask for a disability, so I, you know, I wouldn't lie about it. Um, and you know, for a lot of people, you know, they struggle with their mental health. Um, the research people on Scope did shows that sixty three percent of people with a disability. Um, an invisible illness struggle with their mental health which you know people just making comments really impacts other people's lives which you know I just don't think is fair and you know we have to you know take the high ground um, but we shouldn't have to we should just you know be able to go around and go out about our business just like everyone else we, you know just do it in a different way because we have disabilities. Yeah, yeah, really, doing a great job. Yeah, it really is a case of turning the other cheek isn't it? Yeah. Kadena Cox it's a joy to talk to you yeah. thank you very thank much you. indeed. One of my best friends has cystic fibrosis and I'll never forget being stopped in the street and somebody shouting, you should quit smoking, because she was coughing. It was just so rude. She never smoked a cigarette in her life. Um, yeah, I'll never very, forget that. We are very intolerant at mm. times.